Industrial Action, NLC holds neck meeting today, commences mobilization. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again. Thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel. God bless you, my people. We pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you once again, guys. Yes, guys, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. The Nigerian Labour Congress has um, decided to hold an executive um, council meeting today. That is um, the National Executive Council. They are holding a congress and they are set to uh, engage in a national um, protest and industrial strike against the increase of electricity and fuel pump price. We know um, President Mohamed Buhari was uh, um, lambasted, he was under fire um, for his um, administration and also the increase of um, fuel pump price. In a time like this, in a pandemic, in a time where even other countries are supporting their citizens, are seeing how um, they can cushion the effect of the pandemic and help um, businesses get back into shape, help families get back. But um, Nigeria's case is different. It's how to get more from the people. The Nigerian um, Labour Congress, they're not taking it lightly. They've decided um, to go on and lead a, a national um, protest and the industrial strike. We're going to get more details shortly and uh, as to how this has been planned. Out. But before we do, guys, please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you once again and God bless you. Yes, we'll go straight into the news now and grab all of the details. The Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, will hold a meeting of its National Executive Council, NEC, today as the Congress is set to lead a nationwide protest and industrial strike against the increase in the prices of electricity and fuel pump price. The Congress had last week, Wednesday, given a two-week ultimatum to the federal government after which it will commence industrial strike and protest on Monday, 28th September next week, if the government refused to reverse the price of fuel and electricity tariff. The NLC took the decision after the meeting of its Central Working Committee, CWR, after a careful consideration of the foregoing social economic realities, especially in light of the insufferable hardship they present to the working class family and the masses of our people in Nigeria. The Congress said it had commenced negotiation of its affiliate unions, members, civil society, allies, professionals, and faith-based organizations, as well as all Nigerians, towards total compliance to the indefinite strike and protest. A communique issued after the CWC meeting and signed by the NLC president, Comrade Ayuba Waba, said, the CWC resolved to issue a two-week ultimatum for an indefinite strike action and peaceful protest to take effect from Monday, September 28, 2020, if government fails to reverse the recent hike in the pump price of petroleum and electricity tariff. The CWC resolved that the government must demonstrate its commitment to resuscitating Nigerians for public refineries and building new ones as a sustainable response to the perennial instability and hike in the pump price of refined petroleum products, particularly petrol, diesel, and kerosene. The NLC will begin a mass mobilization of the Nigerian people, professional groups, religious organizations, market women, the informal sector, and Congress civil society allies towards total compliance to the indefinite strike action. Pursuant to this, a meeting of the National Executive Council, NEC, has been scheduled for Tuesday, September 22, 2020. So yes, my people, um, the National um, Labour uh, uh, um, Congress, they are not uh, um, taking this um, likely at all. You know, um, when President Mohamed Buhari rolled out um, that and when he was even um, attacked, presidency came out and started explaining the reason behind them, their action, and how it how it will benefit Nigerians. Definitely, we know Nigerians did not take that in at all. They always they always find a way of uh, 
um, trying to explain themselves and build themselves out. But the, the truth of the whole matter is that in all of this is the masses that are suffering all of this um, hike, this increase, increase in electricity. And it's not as though the power sector is stable yet. We don't have constant uh, um, uh, power supply. And they are talking about uh, um, increments. And how does that uh, benefit the people? Uh, President Mohamed Buhari's administration is not even thinking about the people at all. You know, um, um, 2015, when uh, um, Good Luck Jonathan handed over, when he lost the election to President Mohamed Buhari, it was stated that Good Luck Jonathan didn't even do well. But right now, Nigerians, they are well uh, confident that even if uh, Good Luck Jonathan did not do well, his, his tenor was a lot better than what uh, uh, President Mohamed Buhari is engaging in right now. Because we could see that from 2015, how uh, President Mohamed Buhari, um, his administration, how they've uh, increased, how they've hiked prices, how things have become very difficult for the masses, and how um, if the, the lawmakers, the senators, and all the politicians, their lives are getting better, easier, more looting for them. Buhari has a lot of attention where he needs to put his attention to fight corruption. And as soon as corruption leaves the country, um, the people begin to benefit. But that is, he's not looking into that angle. Anyway, guys, um, um, the, the, the Labour Congress, they've stated that they've given President Mohamed Buhari a two-week ultimatum. So they are meeting today and um, they've decided that come uh, um, September 28th, which is next Monday, if uh, the federal government have not reversed the prices of uh, the uh, four pump and electricity tariff, they are going to be protesting. And what they want to do right now, they are not just protesting themselves. They are trying to collaborate with the whole country, with every sector, with the market women, with everyone. I can imagine how that kind of thing will be. You know, if the work in unity and that protest takes place, this will not just be like hashtag revolutionary protest. That is just a, a small section of the country that are protesting. What the Labour um, Congress wants is that the whole country gets involved every sector so right now they said they're even liaising with uh, with uh, 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 religious uh, the, the religious sector every religious organization market women the informal sector professional groups every part of the country to get involved in this anyway guys as soon as we get more updates we'll bring that to you so they are meeting today guys let us know what you think down below in the comment section thank you once again please if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet go ahead and give us a thumbs up click on the like button don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Till I come your way again. Bye for now and God bless.